TXT's Yan Jun recently dropped his solo song Gum which has caused a mixed reaction among fans. Some praise his unique style and boldness, calling him an et boy while others feel the track underwhelms with an experimental sound that doesn't align with their expectations. Despite these divided opinions, Gum has gained significant traction, topping YouTube's worldwide trending list and ranking high on iTunes charts globally. Supporters emphasize Yanjun's versatility and express admiration for his confidence in exploring new musical territory. Meanwhile, critics focus on what they perceive as a mismatch between the song's style and Yanjun's usual image, questioning the vocal delivery. This passionate divide has led to widespread discussion online, but Yanjun's dedicated fanbase continues to back his artistic growth. Whether loved or disliked, Gum has cemented its position as a conversation starter within the TXT fandom. At Zero Baesun's recent concert, Kim Ji Wong stole the spotlight when he boldly went shirtless during his performance. His toned physique, illuminated by dramatic stage lighting, captivated the audience and sparked a frenzy online. Fans couldn't stop talking about how hot and stunning he looked. Not to be outdone, Seok Matthew took the excitement up a notch by showing off his abs, sending the crowd into a whirlwind of cheers and admiration. Both Ji Wong and Matthew's impressive physiques became the highlight of the concert, with fans taking to social media to share videos and photos, calling the moments unforgettable. The crowd was mesmerized not only by their physical appearances, but by the group's confidence and stage presence. The concert itself was packed with high-energy performances, but it was Ji Wong and Matthew's bold displays that had everyone buzzing. The electric atmosphere and heated fan reactions cemented this concert as one of the most memorable in Zero Base One's career. Itzy's Yeji captured global attention at Milan Fashion Week, making a bold fashion statement at the Dolce Gabbana show. Wearing an all-black outfit that included a silk satin flat cap and veil, she turned heads with a look reminiscent of a chic, modern-day funeral ensemble. The outfit was both daring and sophisticated, blending elegance with a touch of avant-garde flair. Netizens quickly dubbed it Yeji's funeral look praising her for her stunning visuals and the ability to pull off such an unconventional style with grace. The ensemble showcased her versatility as a fashion icon, demonstrating that she's not afraid to take risks on the international stage. Fans applauded her confidence, and her standout appearance solidified her status as a rising fashion star proving once again why Yeji remains one of K-pop's most photogenic idols. Mamamoo's Hwasa initially faced criticism with her new song Na from her mini-album O, oh, as early teasers and the dance challenge received mixed feedback. Some found the song's style and choreography unusual, with comparisons made to size energetic tracks. However, upon its full release, Ne quickly won over fans with its catchy rhythm, bold verses and vibrant music video, which showcased Hwasa's unique flair and unapologetic charisma. Her ability to turn skepticism into praise highlighted her resilience and adaptability, solidifying her status as a standout artist in K-pop. Hwasa's creative choices were ultimately celebrated, demonstrating her willingness to take risks and redefine her musical identity with each release. The song has since gained positive recognition, proving that Hwasa's distinct approach and confident performances continue to captivate audiences. Despite initial backlash, N.A. stands as a testament to Hwasa's artistry, showcasing her ability to transform criticism into a triumph of individuality and style. Exxon will soon hold their second concert in the near future. Escrow Entertainment has officially announced that Exxon will perform two concerts in Moscow and St. Petersburg on November 2nd and 3. Ticket sales are still ongoing, with most tickets already sold out. According to the latest update from the X in Concert Ticket Sales website, tickets for the St. Petersburg show are mostly sold out, with only a few remaining in areas such as the side stage and VIP sections. Similarly, ticket sales in Moscow show the same trend, with only seats in the farthest sections from the stage still available. Both X in Concerts will also feature a high-touch session for an additional fee. It is estimated that there will be around 10,000 attendees in total for both X in Concerts, which would set a new record for the group compared to their first concert in Moscow some time ago. Speaking of Exin, fans are still wondering when the group will release the collaboration song with Anatoly Toai that was announced a few months ago. Since the collaboration was revealed, and rumors surfaced that the music video has been filmed, there have been no signs of the song's release. Will Exin perform the song for the first time at their upcoming concert?
What do you think? Black Swan's latest track, Roll Up, is making waves globally and showing impressive chart results. The song, which falls under the dance genre, has climbed 82 positions to land at number 78, with its peak at number 13 on global music charts. Other songs from the group, such as Cat Mouse, have also re entered the charts, debuting again at number 93 with a peak at 24. Meanwhile, the track Karma has reappeared on the charts at number 119, reaching a peak position of 8 on Orang Radio. However, not all tracks saw positive movement as La Boom dropped 75 spots, settling at number 192. Roll Up has made an impressive return to the top 200 Musique Asiatique charts, entering at number 70 across multiple countries. Among these countries are the United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, the Netherlands, and Mexico. Its consistent performance across these regions reflects Black Swan's growing global appeal and increasing popularity in the international music market. As Black Swan's music continues to climb charts worldwide, the group is gaining heightened visibility and recognition on the international stage. Their expanding fan base and strong performances across various platforms are clear indicators of the group's rising influence and continued success in the global music industry. Black Swan has once again drawn the attention of fans after Fatou and Nenvi subtly called out their agency in a unique way. Previously, fans expressed concerns over Black Swan's management system, which they deemed outdated behind the times and too laid back. After the promotion period for the roll-up era ended, the agency remained silent and seemingly inactive, as reflected by Black Swan's social media accounts, which had no new content for almost a month since the era's promotion concluded. Fans have taken various actions, including protests through emails and social media, but these efforts have yet to yield any results. The agency remains silent, holding on to its old-fashioned approach. Not only fans, but the members of Black Swan themselves are reportedly frustrated with the agency's inaction. Fatou was the first to address the issue by posting, upload the damn content on her Instagram stories, though this did not lead to any immediate change. Now, the members are stepping in once again to handle the situation. Fatou, in her straightforward and firm manner, updated fans that she would soon begin the recording process and release a new video herself in the near future. Fans felt both relieved and proud of Fatou's decisive actions, preferring this approach rather than waiting for the agency's approval. They now look forward to a new video from her. Meanwhile, they hope this prompts the agency to wake up and overhaul its social media management system for the betterment of Black Swan's career.